Okay, here's a tip that I think will make your life with Macaw so much easier that I stopped working on something else just to record this video. All right, let's say you're working on your little website here for your vaguely cubist lemonade stand. And uh, as you can see, I have a few breakpoints here and I've got a bunch of elements and they are all so aesthetically pleasing right now. So as you're working with Macaw, you'll find yourself looking at your items and you'll be in a certain breakpoint and everything looks cool. You got your outline all sorted out, well, except for these warnings, but you get your outline all sorted out, you get everything just the way you think you want it. And then you start looking at other breakpoints and everything's kind of gone all to hell. So you could switch to each one and drag the stuff around and try and get everything straightened out. But there's a much easier way and that is to check out each of these areas where things have changed. So these margins are each outlined in blue. And that shows me that there are different settings at at least one other breakpoint. If there's no outline, all breakpoints use the same value. So you can see over here, for this selected item, the dimensions are all the same and everything else is all the same, no outlines. So. If you've seen these before, you may know that when you mouse over these, you can mouse over the dimension and then copy the value from another breakpoint onto this one. So if I wanted to set this margin to 52 pixels, I could just click it and there it goes. The other guys reflow. What isn't documented and what makes life so easy is if you mouse over this stuff and then hold down the command key on the Mac or control on Windows, You've got to jiggle the cursor a little bit to see this, but this becomes set all to 52 pixels, which means that you can, while you're holding down the command key, you can take the setting from any breakpoint and copy it to the other ones in a single click. This is so good. And when you start finding out little areas where Macaw has tried to be a little too clever and it's moving everything around in ways you didn't expect in the other breakpoints, this makes it so much easier to reset and get back to where you wanted to be in the first place. So that's it. Real simple tip, but worth a movie all by itself.